Hello, I'm Deacon Jane Mills. Welcome to Falmouth and Gwinnett Methodist Circuit Service. Today we're marking World Environment Sunday. Yesterday was World Environment Day and the UN picked the theme of ecosystem restoration. It launches a decade of ecosystem restoration. The host country this year is Pakistan and their Prime Minister Imran Khan has launched a 10 billion tree tsunami, a program of planting trees, indigenous trees across the country. So let us begin our worship as we share in Psalm 138. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called, you answered me you increase the strength of my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he perceives from far away. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the words of your hands. Thanks be to God. We continue by singing the hymn of praise. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. verses 20 to 35. Then Jesus went home. Again, such a large crowd gathered that Jesus and his disciples had no time to eat. 
When his family heard about this, they set out to take charge of him. Because people were saying, he's gone mad. Some teachers of the law, who had come from Jerusalem, were saying, he has Beelzebub in him. That is why he's able to drive them out. So, Jesus called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a country divides itself into groups, which fight each other, that country will fall apart. If a family divides itself into groups, which fight each other, that family will fall apart. If Satan's kingdom divides into groups, it cannot last, but will fall apart and come to an end. No one can break into a strong man's house and take away his belongings unless that he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. I assure you that people can be forgiven for all their sins and all the evil things they say. But whoever says evil things against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven because he has committed an eternal sin. Jesus said this because some people were saying he has an evil spirit in him. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived and sent a message asking for him. A crowd was sitting around Jesus and they said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside. And they want you. Jesus answered, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? He looked at the people sitting around him and said, Look, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does what God wants him to do is my brother, my sister, my mother. A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. In many ways, ecosystems can be said to be kingdoms. They can be small and very specific. They can be large. They can be exotic to us or perhaps so familiar we do not even recognise them as such. Plants and animals that are specific to a certain location too easily go extinct as the environment changes or as human activity impacts the environment on which they rely. Sadly, you don't have to look far afield for examples of this. Yet, increasingly, local gardens and estates are recognising their responsibility to control invasive plant species. Once imported for their beauty, it's now recognised that they threaten our own ecosystem. Plants like brackens and rhododendrons and Japanese bindweed. All these were imported, have escaped gardens into the wild and cause great devastation. Not just to plant species and animal species, but also they speed up the erosion of riverbanks. There is always good news to share though and species that had gone missing from our locality have been successfully reintroduced. Otters, beavers and our very own Cornish chuff.
the fact that our climate is in crisis is now firmly on the global and political agenda. Next week, the G7 descend on Cornwall, the media centre being in our own circuit. And in November, the vital COP26 conference is in Glasgow, where many nations gather to look at how we can rebuild greener and better while sustaining those who are suffering. And the injustice remains that those who are affected more by rising sea levels are those who've done least to cause it. It is also recognised that we, the Church, must actively seek to value the whole of creation. Only then can we truly live out God's commandment to love our neighbour. In March 2019, then Methodist President Michaela Youngson commended the Arocca UK Green Church Award Scheme. And only last month, the Cornwall and Isles of Scilly Methodist District voted overwhelmingly to begin the process of becoming a green district. This requires, in turn, circuits to become green circuits. That's something we intend to do and will bring before the circuit meeting. But that, in turn, requires churches to become green churches. Look out for more information on this very soon. We often talk about the church as a family. Each one of us is interdependent on other members. We exist because of each one of the members. In some ways, that feels like an ecosystem. As we emerge from lockdown, some of those vital members no longer feel able to join us. And we must actively seek ways to include them in the life of our church. As we go forwards, in the midst of climate crisis, in the midst of COVID, injustice, climate change and nature in crisis. We need to stand together and show our support. We believe that God gave us this planet to look after, not to abuse, to manage as his faithful stewards. We need to be at the forefront of the campaign to make governments make the real change. And we also need to be prepared to make the changes we can ourselves. Whether that's producing a window box, wilding our garden, getting involved in local schemes, or campaigning to MPs We all do a little bit in our own way. We bless each other. We give thanks to God for all he's made. And we join the wave of hope. So all will know what we stand for for justice, for peace, for equality. Whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, my mother. The whole world is our ecosystem. Let's play our part. Let us sing again. God in his love for us lent us this planet.
share now in a prayer of commissioning. This prayer is used by the Anglican Environment Network in Southern Africa. This we know. The earth does not belong to us. The earth is the Lord's and so are all its people. This we know. We did not weave the web of life. The earth is the Lord's and so is all that breathes on it. This we know. We are called to till and work the earth. The earth is the Lord's and so are all who work the land. This we know, that we are called to take care of creation. The earth is the Lord's, yet we have polluted and abused it. This we know, that whatever befalls the earth, befalls the sons and daughters of the earth. This we know, the earth is the Lord's, and so we will serve him in it. Amen. Let us now take time to read, to listen to, to watch the poem created by Jordan Sanchez for World Environment Day 2021. Have you ever seen time fly? Watch it slip through your fingers like a cloud passing by. Too slow to notice it leaving, too fast to make it stop. All we've known is to destroy like it's breathing. The pitter-patter of raindrops match the sounds of clocks tick, counting down. Tick, tick. How lucky we are to live. We are a fraction of a second in Earth's lifetime, yet she is our only lifeline. Resilient, we stand on our own two feet. I'll tell you, reimagining the future has never tasted so sweet. Like nectar to a bee, honey to a home. No one can do this alone. Sick. The promise of restoration lives within us. We see her in the hues of the youth, and she's asking you, what will you stand for? Now is the time for our regeneration. Our final hymn is Lord thy church on earth is seeking. Thank you. 
for our final prayer. I'm using an uncomfortable blessing, which comes from Holy Island. May the Spirit bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths and superficial relationships, so that you will live deep in your heart. May the Spirit bless you with anger at injustice and oppression, the exploitation of people and earth, so that you will work for justice, equity and peace. May the Spirit bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer, so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them. May the Spirit bless you with foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others say cannot be done. Let's bless each other as we share in the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.